Yeah, once we developed a tool, we felt it was very important to validate it, to, to, to prove it, you know, on, on the ground in, on actual commercial farmer fields. So in 2011, we started a number of trials, uh, primarily in New York and in Iowa. And uh, most of those were strip trials, so uh, on the field scale, replicated, uh, but only involving two treatments. So one of them was uh, follow, followed the adapt then recommendation and the other treatment followed the uh, the grower selected rate so the which was typically the, the the practice that the grower felt was most appropriate so it was a side-by-side -side direct comparison that we did and so over a period from 2011 through 2013 we did 104 of those and we are now continuing those in in uh, Iowa New York but also a number of other states in uh, the Corn Belt as, as well as uh, in, uh, in the, uh, Maryland and North Carolina. The results have, have shown us uh, uh, that uh, adapt -N can be a win-win scenario. So it can save the farmer money, it can increase the profit um, by more precisely predicting the end rate. In most cases that meant uh, a slight reduction in the end rate, but in a few cases, uh, for example, in a very wet spring, then it actually meant an increase in the end rate. So adapt then would actually compensate, you know, you know, indicated that there needed to be compensation for the uh, wet weather conditions, and so would suggest a slight increase. Now, in the cases where we had a decrease, we saw very little decrease in end rate. We saw very little yield loss. And that's good, that's what you want. You can produce the same crop for less nitrogen. In the cases where we suggested a slightly higher end rate, we also saw that justified by higher yields. So overall, we saw a sort of win-win scenario. On the average, we reduced uh, nitrogen inputs considerably and we increased the profits. So <clears throat> separating out New York and, and, and Iowa, in, in New York the average profit was, uh, increase in profit was $37. In Iowa it was $17. And we reduced the end rates on the average in New York by 52 pounds per acre and in Iowa by 29 pounds per acre. So overall it's a win-win scenario, less nitrogen inputs and increased profits. And I should add that uh, in almost all cases, the farmers we worked with were already doing a typically a starter site dress scenario. So they, are, they already um, use site dressing as a more efficient way to use nitrogen on their, on their fields. So, I mean, the, the interesting thing is that, um, uh, that now that we have a number of users of the tool, who uh, do either fall application or lar you know, larger quantities of fall applications or pre-planned early spring applications, they now are seeing that in a wet year they lose a lot of nitrogen. So they're rethinking their, uh, their nitrogen management strategy and they're going to be uh, applying less nitrogen early on and they're going to be shifting more of the nitrogen application to site dress, which is more efficient. So one of the benefits of the tool is that we're giving people some numbers to demonstrate that uh, their system may not be as efficient as it could be and it's changing some of their, their practices, which is good for them, but of course it's also good for the environment because a lot of those losses, of course, uh, result in, in, um, in water quality de degradation problems. The, uh, the, the tool currently is, is, uh, is very capable uh, uh, by, uh, by, in our opinion, and so, uh, but we are continuously uh, improving the tool to uh, make better recommendations based on some of the data that we get from our field collaborators. Uh, some significant uh, enhancements that we're planning include uh, estimates of nitrous oxide losses, uh, we currently do leaching losses, but we also want to provide that information. 
um, were planning in, in 2015 to have a version of ADAPT then that includes uh, cover crops and soil health information so that, uh, that we can uh, take advantage of the benefits of those practices and to improve our recommendations. We're also actively working on, uh, on bringing ADAPT and uh, or combining it with other software that's out there in the, in the commercial uh, uh, space to, uh, so that other software companies can have an ADAPT and component built into their tools. In nitrous oxide is, uh, is, is actually, and a lot of people are not fully aware of this, is the largest uh, contributor to the greenhouse gas problem from agriculture. It's the largest con contribution, larger than methane and larger than carbon dioxide. So uh, with tools like ADAPT then we have an opportunity to uh, use nitrogen more efficient, uh, efficiently and thereby also reducing the nitrous oxide losses. So it is a very potent greenhouse gas. It's uh, about 300 times more potent than carbon dioxide. So just keeping a little bit of uh, uh, a few pounds of nitrous oxide from being lost into the atmosphere has actually quite a big impact in terms of the greenhouse gas problem. Uh, in, the, in the commercial area, there's a, a, couple, uh, a couple of the large seed companies have come out with, uh, with tools that, uh, that sort of take some of the same ideas as that, that, that we developed. At this point in time, uh, we don't really know that well what they do or what they're based on. Uh, we have you know, uh, quite a track record now and we've been able to prove how, you know, that our tool works well in, in a field scenario. Um, but it's in, it's in a way good to see that uh, other companies are uh, buying into this concept of adaptive nitrogen management and using weather information. Yeah, if you're interested in ADAPT, then, then, um, then please go to our website, which is adaptn.com, and uh, you will find all information there.